My name is Robbie Dixon and uh, this is one of my cars, this beautiful McLaren 675 LT Spider. It's a limited production car, they only made 500 pieces of this in the Spider. More power, 666 horsepower, uh, V8 twin turbo, very fast, very track ready. Yeah, so this one was the first one into Vancouver, so I've had it for a couple of months now, I had a lot of fun with it. I think it was about nine or ten years old and I watched this movie called The Cannonball Run starring an ultra cool Burt Reynolds at the time. Such a, an epic movie for me. And it starts off with this Lamborghini Countach being driven down a highway with two, uh, driven by two girls. The music's rolling, the car's running and I, I, this was the first time I'd seen a Lamborghini. It looked like some sort of spaceship. At that point, I fell in love with Lamborghinis. I actually promised myself my first ever brand new car will be a Lamborghini. I heard that uh, the Murcielago was being phased out and it's been replaced by something new and I knew the owner of uh, Lamborghini Vancouver so he told me of this new car called the Aventador and straight away I went yeah this is the one for me so I put a deposit down I got the first one in Canada and uh, and I remember walking into his office with a big pile of cash because my dream was that I would pay cash. So I had like half a million dollars of cash and I just dumped it on his table and said, here, this is my first ever brand new car. And uh, he just was kind of shocked. He didn't quite know what to do. And he said, we, we can't accept your cash, sir. I'm sorry. Can you take it back to the bank and get us a check instead? I'm like, damn it. Spoiled my, <laughs> spoiled my dream, but um, still got the car and I was very lucky. The colour I chose was a turquoise colour. I love the ocean and I had a picture on my wall of the ocean and it was a turquoise colour and I gave them a piece of this, this turquoise and I said I want the car to be in this colour. And at first I thought I was mad. Why would you want a turquoise Lamborghini? It doesn't sound right. Nobody had ever done it before. And I said no, 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 trust me. I can just picture it in my head. It will look stunning. And uh, one day I got a call from uh, the CEO of Lamborghini. He called me and just said, We've just finished painting your car in the paint shop and it looks absolutely fantastic. Congratulated me on the color. We did a photo shoot and the photos went viral and now everybody's ordering uh, this color. So I knew it was a success and I knew as soon as I saw the car, I just loved it. I still have that car to this day. Typically, most people want to make a living in doing something they're really passionate about, which for me was cars. So I thought, great, I'll open up a a sports car rental company and it was a disaster but that's what keeps you forging ahead you learn from your mistakes I ended up making my money doing something I'm actually not passionate about and I did it purely because my goal was only to be able to afford cars like this and if I needed to sell soap doing that I would have sold soap I didn't care how I did it so I was Pretty fortunate, I used my engineering background, my engineering skill and mindset to create a business around the technology that I invented. The Airbrake project came around and a lot of my friends make fun of me for this, which is fine, but um, what happened was I was racing uh, an F-18 jet fighter down a military runway in Cold Lake, Alberta. And I was in my Lamborghini, the F-18 was on another runway. I was doing a top speed run at the same time and I had a reporter sat next to me. I beat my record of the run before. We were celebrating in the car, doing high fives and still doing around 320 kilometers an hour at this point and didn't realize the end of the runway was coming really, really quickly. And so I braked as hard as I could. I wasn't gonna make it. And I tried to make the turn onto the taxiway, still going way too fast and ended up spinning off. And it was at that point I realized if this car had an air brake wing, I probably would have been able to stop. And air brake wings have been used on Bugattis, but nobody else had done it before. So one of my companies, Ativo Designs, we make carbon fiber equipment and parts for high-end vehicles. I decided under our Ativo brand to create an air brake wing using a technology from another one of my companies that makes actuators. So we use actuators to activate the wing, make it flip up at high speeds when you're braking hard, and it 
creates enough braking force equivalent to about two regular sedan cars. So it's quite a lot of braking force. Now you're seeing the air brake technology used in all sorts of cars, including this one here. Now everybody's using it as standard. So it just goes to show that it was the right idea at the right time. Area 27 really came about because we don't have a racetrack in Western Canada. You know, when you own a car like this, you want to be able to really open it up and experience it the way it's designed and built. So about 10 of us got together and decided it was time we built our own racetrack. The original founder, Bill, he knows uh, Jacques Villeneuve quite well. They grew up together. And so he contacted Jacques and asked him, had he ever designed a racetrack before? And Jacques, had, I'd love to, I've never done that before. I've always wanted to design a racetrack. So he came on board, he designed this phenomenal track and we call it Area 27 because 27 is his number. You know, be called one of the best tracks in the world right now. Very successful, a lot of people loved it and a great way to get other supercar owners to come out and enjoy their cars and actually drive them, which is not something everybody does in Vancouver. They buy the cars, they stick them in the garage and never see them ever again. So this really forces them to get their cars out onto the racetrack and meet other people. Huge success, we're very excited about it and I love driving on the track. I've had this car on it a few weeks ago and it's just so much fun just being able to drive the car and drive them the way the design on the track is just phenomenal. Mmm. -hmm.